Hi, I'm James Norton, Shaw.com Super Taster. It's kind of deja vu all over again here on the program because I'm back to Taco Bell to look at their cantina menu, which I've talked about before. Celebrity chef Lorena Garcia is busting out what uh, Taco Bell says is sort of a new, fresher, healthier, more modern take on Mexican food. Of course, it's kind of pumped through the Taco Bell franchise. you got to take that with a grain of salt. But the new item they're really pushing is the Cantina Bell Steak Burrito. It's a big ticket item. It's the Taco Bell. It's the sort of the filet mignon of their offerings. $5 for a, a big old burrito. This is, this is just half. And in my mind, it really puts them in direct competition with Chipotle. So what I did is I went to Chipotle. I ordered a steak burrito with similar toppings, brought them back, I'm going to try them head to head. And the first thing I did is weighed them in. The Chipotle burrito weighed in at about a pound and a quarter. The Taco Bell burrito uh, clocked in at a little under a pound. The Chipotle burrito with guac on it turned out to be about $9. So actually not so cheap for lunch. Uh, that's without a beverage or anything. Nine bucks for the Chipotle burrito. Taco Bell burrito, $5. But let's start out with the Chipotle burrito. I'm going to give it a try, tell you about the steak, tell you about what I'm tasting, and then we'll do the Taco Bell competition. There's an insane amount of rice in here. Very little steak. I guess that's how burrito works. I'm not like shocked or angry, but for the record, um, the Chipotle high price steak doesn't get you a lot more steak. The steak is chewy in here. Uh, it does taste of steak when you get a little nugget. It's a chewy little real steak kind of flavor. There's an herbal quality to it, but overwhelmingly what I'm tasting here is is rice. It's not bad, but it's not it's not a great burrito. I would go to a Mexican restaurant before I ordered this burrito again. My opinion, with the price tag, this is this is kind of most of a thumbs down. Maybe one of these, depending on the day. Well, let's try the Taco Bell Cantina Menu Steak Burrito and see how it compares. Really interesting. The fact that they grilled the exterior of the burrito and they really put some char onto the steak bits themselves makes a really large flavor difference. You're tasting less steak. It's less chewy. It's much more about the grill and the char. <clears throat> less about the flavor of rice and more about sort of a sour cream guacamole flavor. The steak is still getting lost in the overall package, but I like the proportion of the Taco Bell burrito. Frankly, I think the slightly slimmer burrito means we're just getting less rice. Uh, I like the lighter price tag, and I like the use of grill, particularly on the exterior. I think that's a real a real value add over the Chipotle model. So would I, would I eat Taco Bell before I ate Chipotle uh, if I was getting a steak burrito? Yes. I would. Most of a thumbs up for the Taco Bell Steak Cantina Burrito. It's really fine. I mean, again, you can go to an actual Mexican restaurant, get an actual burrito that may be the way you want to you wanna take it, but uh, Taco Bell is actually putting out some, I hesitate to call it food, but well, let's call it food. They're putting out some food, and uh, and good for them. Uh, for Cha.com, I'm James Norton, Super Taster. We're going to be back with some Chinese New Year stuff later in the week, Valentine's stuff down the road. Please do follow me on YouTube. That's the best way to see all my videos. And uh, come Wednesday, see you then.